Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm here with Angie today to get an inside look on how she makes her clients feel beautiful. That includes cutting, styling, and being her creative self. Come on, join me. that I can make some money and take care of my kid. And I played around with hair, so I'm not one of those stylists who have been doing hair since I was 12 years old in the kitchen. But, um, so she, I mentioned to my mom and she was like, why don't you do hair? And I said, almost exact. I don't wanna do no hair. Everybody does hair. And little do I know, it would be a blessing to me. So I went to school and absolutely loved it. I developed a passion for it and I still love it today. Um, of course, people who um, do hair and have a clientele in school, those people typically don't follow you because your prices change and they want to pay the prices that they pay um, when you were at school. I consider myself successful is when I realized that this thing is bigger than me. And even back to when my mom suggested that I go and do hair, God knew then that it wasn't just about me going and being the average hairstylist, but um, he knew that there was purpose and that he put something in me to be able to bless people with, and it goes beyond a hairstyle. Hair, hair care is very important to me, and my goal is to enhance the beauty that lies within. That's my mission. And because I believe that every person, every woman, whether they know it or not, has beauty line within her. And so when I do her hair, I am just topping off the beauty that's already there. So, um, yeah, I have had those moments because, you know, you go, you get slow sometimes and, you know, then other times it's really busy and you have to juggle you know, your schedule and your home life. But, um, you know, you just learn to deal and you strategize and that's a life lesson. You know, every day is gonna come with something that you did not expect. And so you just reboot, you know, take a deep breath and you you identify it, you, you, you reboot and you go forward with the strategy or the thing that will help you to be successful. Always remain a student. Always be a student. You know, um, always be willing to learn. And it's just a, a, a way to remain humble. Um, you know, and not, that's not even to consider the fact that there may there's someone coming behind you or someone beside you or someone in front of you that doesn't really matter but just stay open you know and be willing to um, move with the change and be willing to learn so remain a student that would be my advice um, to any person who is, is starting off Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching our first episode of City Buzz. 
be sure to also subscribe to my YouTube channel here and follow me on Instagram at Amazon Slim. That's A-M-A-Z-O-N Slim. Thanks for watching. See you next time.